All right, let's get started here with the grand finals of the Go for 424, and we have in the top right playing for Team Triple A our Teal Zerg BSK. And the bottom left in green, our Terran from Clan Cascade One Bat. It's Complain. So let's see what these two have in store for us. Um, by the way, map is Overgrove, and uh, BSK, a known for a little bit of his uh, unorthodox play, at least in these couple of games. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's just I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't like playing versus Protoss. This is quite an early drone move out. I'm just wondering what he's going to do. Maybe he wants. Does he want to take the gold? No, he just checks for one. Uh, Maybe he's going to block the um, block the natural. But I don't know. Is that? Do people actually do that anymore? Uh, Cats does it a lot, but only against Protoss, I think, not against Terran. You, you can do it against Terran, actually. But um, obviously, he's he's just scouting for gas and everything. But you're right, I mean, that was a pretty early drone. Oh, 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 sneaky there? No, okay, going in now. No. So okay. I'm just gonna scout out everything. Oh, actually gets a couple hits off on the SCV. But, of course, uh, with the second SCV incoming, he will get rid of that drone ASAP. And behind this, uh, just expanding, taking this natural, uh, I think, at 15 supply here. And complain will get rid of that drone. I don't really like that really early drone scout because you do lose a lot of minerals and it delays everything quite a bit. And yeah, normally you only do it if you're really afraid of something cheesy or something strange that your opponent might be doing. So yeah, maybe he was afraid of something. And, and just I mean, we safe. don't really um, we don't really dig into these mind games. Maybe these yeah. guys have actually played each other uh, quite That's a bit, right. and um, or he has just seen some of his games. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. Um, that could be a reasoning here, and if he does go for that um, uh, double barracks push early on, then the drone helps out immensely. So don't yeah, get me wrong; right. it can it can be worth it, especially if you know the uh, playstyle of your opponent. Yeah, and I think that was really what he was looking for—the double, the double um, proxy racks. Since he checked these um, watchtowers so specifically, yeah, the usual spots. Yeah. More likely. Okay, we have the first marine out. Uh, the CC is of course in production. No gas is being taken yet. So a quite um, old-fashioned uh, barracks fast and one X expand. I haven't seen them for quite a while. For quite a while. Yeah, and even playing this out without the bunker, which is kind of weird, considering that he hasn't scouted anything yet. Um, but he's ooh getting Going a for fast third CC. Okay, how that, that's can you get? No bunker third CC one Rex expand. <laughs> yeah, so I That's think the he's most definitely played them before. You can play except yeah. for going right straight up to three CC, <laughs> which also works. I mean, you can block uh, your entire ramp with uh, three CCs, so yeah, that well. could work. <laughs> yeah, but well, this this the way he plays it out now is a little bit safer because if you get the CC to finish on the low ground. Uh, you can always lift it up, still produce SCVs in your main, and then move out uh, once you have enough marines, or even get a first siege tank up, uh, or whatever you want to want to go for. But if this is not scouted up by BSK, that's actually a pretty early lead um, uh, for complain. The BSK, BSK just sees that there are three marines out. He doesn't see the fourth one. Uh, there are three marines out, staying there, just standing there without a bunker anywhere. So he actually could suspect something, but right now he doesn't have any clue what's happening here, which is pretty bad for him because he's still on two bases. I mean, he's droning like crazy, trying to get his two bases saturated. He's getting one gas, two gas, one at each base. Um, I don't really know what he's going, uh, what he's going for. Um, yeah, I have no idea either. Um, he is going for the Roach War now, and he's scaring the double Evo Chamber. I think so he expects a normal Hellion transition behind this, and he doesn't even get the idea that his opponent might be going to uh, three TCs right there. Yeah, I, I think we might be seeing a little bit of a, a Hellion transition, because the swap is incoming. And he will do a little bit of uh, pressuring with those Hellions. Uh, possibly, um, yeah, possibly kind of try to constrict the um, the creep tumors, 
And well, that would be pretty huge right now for BSK, because if he's behind in bases, that's never a position you want to be in. He's producing the first couple of roaches and going for layer tech. Um, I think BSK must be pretty nervous at the moment, because it's past seven minutes and nothing has happened to his base. He's totally prepared for a Hellion push up here. He has built his wall, he has the Queen standing right in front of that wall, uh, right behind that wall after, uh, actually. And uh, yeah, but the ro these, these Hellions should have been there like a minute ago, and they haven't been. So yeah, he must be pretty nervous what's to come. Yeah, you, you really want to have a third base up by that point, uh, no matter what. And I don't know why he didn't even try to do it. I mean, is he going for a, a two-base push? He must be, otherwise you just, you're screwed right now, no matter what your goal, opponent went for. If, even if you went for a regular two-base push, by eight minutes you want to have your third base up. Mm, but um, what two-base push is this going to be? I don't even see a Bangling Nest here. No, I mean, uh, even if Complain was going for a uh, two-base yeah. push, um, then you still want to have your third base up. You can still cancel it or even lose it, but you want to have it up just for the possibility to, to make that uh, stand happen. And now he is finally going to grab his third, but it's just way too late at the nine-minute mark. And the first Widow Mine is making his way across the map. Uh, well, at least BSK does have a couple roaches out on the map, so maybe he'll catch it before it burrows, but um, a little bit unlikely. But he's going for a little bit of a, a creep spread now, so I do like that a lot better than in his previous games. Kind so of neglected that's... creep spread in those games, so... Third command zone to new now moving uh, across the map, uh, spotted by this overlord hanging over here. I just wonder why I didn't use the possibility to just shoot down this overlord. Uh, no idea. Maybe oh. he wanted him to see. <laughs> see it, see it, you know what I'm doing. See how far I'm ahead. <laughs> yeah, but actually, uh, 91 supply that. versus 107. Um, oh. Let's check out the workers. 59 versus 53 drones. Uh, you don't see that every day. And the third just now finishing up. So okay, we should be seeing a pretty big swell of drones as well. Yeah, and the there they are, but a couple yeah. roaches as well. You're right. Yeah. Okay, there are mara there are marauders in the mix. We have we have uh, stim already available, I guess. Yeah, stim is available, and we have the medivax. Ooh, you will just behind lose him. quite Ooh. a bit of SCVs here. Um, yeah. Getting those for free is a big deal um, for Actually, BSK. Lose losing a lot more than he really needed to. Okay, the widowman just going off into the bunch. I don't know. I really think he could beat this amount of roaches with this amount of bio here and the and the medivax uh, above them. So, um, yeah, but he um, just wanted to keep his third base safe. I mean, um, it was all about getting that third base up and running. But he did take way too many losses here. Um, you're right, he should have moved out with the initial uh, Marine Marauders he had there. And he would have been able to just fend it off and buy, buy himself more time to get a couple more Marauders out. So BSK obviously likes his Roach Hydra play, or at least Roach play at the moment. He's producing more and more Roaches, now just going into the second base. Trying to tear down that bunker, which doesn't work out quite nicely. Okay, he burrows his roaches, which is Ooh, nice concave though for BSK. Yeah. He's getting a lot of these marauders, marauders uh, singled out. Ooh, and the marines falling quite quickly as well. But the roaches are dying here, so I think with the medivax, um, yeah, complaint is going to be able to hold this. Yeah. This puzzle was actually not very successful. I mean, of course, he just narrowed down the amount of army that his opponent had, but still, I mean, uh, bio is awfully quickly produced, so it doesn't really m make that much difference if you kill uh, a lot of bio off by losing your own uh, units if you don't have a massive uh, lead in economy, which he doesn't. I mean, he, now he has been able to take a fort behind it, which is the gold base. And if he gets it up and can get it saturated, he might get the lead he wants to. But in the meantime, his opponent is just massing buyer units uh, near his second and third base, already throwing down a fourth base at his third. And uh, yeah, he's just producing units nicely. He has uh, a nice economy up here. And now he's even pulling ahead in supply. Yeah, um, and they're both pretty much even as far as workers are concerned. E exactly even right now. And seven Medivax, that's pretty huge. And right now, BSK doesn't have anything to deal with these medivacs, so if it comes down to it, Complain is just going to micro all day, keeping all these medivacs alive uh, the entire fight, and I think that might be it. I mean, oh, bailing speed is 
almost done, and with bailing speed. Well, the I units are still on creep. Fight this. And he, he was trying to he was trying to encircle the units with his links there, but it wasn't quite close enough. Now he's moving in, trying to push these. Oh, first Bender there. gets a good connection down there, might get a couple more hits off, but with some nice splitting, keeping these marines alive, and with those so many medivacs, I think he has enough to deal with this. Uh, we'll do some decent damage on this third at least, but there's still a lot of banelings left, so complaint has to get out for now. Yeah, and Hive Tech defeats. coming in, even uh, Adrenal Glands. And there's a nice counter attack to the right where the links try to get through these uh, defenses, but they really can't because their building's up everywhere. And now he just puts uh, somebody into the bunker, but the bunker is going to fall just in a few seconds. Widowman was only shooting a few drone, a uh, few links there. And now he's moving into, uh, he's probably not going to do match damage there. He can ju he just um, focused down that bunker, uh, but wasn't able to get into the mineral line. So not much damage done there. But he's coming really from, he's coming from everywhere. In the meantime, he's setting up a push on the left flank. Yeah, I mean I, that wasn't the best fight for complain, but uh, he's still pulling ahead so far There's right a bailing now. Bailing bomb. Oh, uh, but, <laughs> but in a better, in a quite bad position. Maybe he tries to lurk them over, but there's a scan. Okay, not But that's for still it. a lot of ban banelings. Uh, he definitely needs to put out some decent splits, but oh. That doesn't really Some matter. Just bad army it. positioning out of BSK, losing a lot of his force uh, in the retreat there. And Baneling Bomb is has been spotted, so I think Complain is just going to play it safe. He still has a couple units in those medevacs. Yeah, some links managed to get through to trying to tear down that bunker again. Not really a problem. Uh, Ooh, Complain we is have the Infestors coming in now. Ooh, and a nice fungal here on the left flank. Actually, got in a lot of these, uh, a lot of these Hellbats and a couple of Marines as well. Um, yeah, but he lost a lot are pretty of low now, and they're, yeah, he, they're focused out. Yeah, he, he lost a lot of banelings in the process just to bring down these Hellbats and a few Marines, and now uh, his almost maxed out army is standing right in front of his base. Uh, there's the baneling mine, but even if it does go down and gets a few good hits, it won't kill the whole of the army. Oh, nice some good again. Split, splits, and the baneling did hit. And these Marines are pretty low, but if he micros them back and keeps the... Um, He's the healed up marines in front, he should be fine, but that's a lot of banelings rolling in. Oh, some good splits coming out of complain. can he keep his army alive? It looks like it, and he still has so many medivacs to heal him back up. But this army is so low, it's autumn land, uh, it's autumn and terran land here. Ah, oh, come on. But yeah, now he finally puts that down, there's some banelings still left behind, trying to get a good engagement here, trying to get the right amount of army kill jumps to tear down because it just doesn't matter if he gets it into a few uh, into a few marines here and the gold base does fall which is pretty huge he already has a four available four muters which haven't even been produced now because he had to spend so much gas into mainlings yeah, and uh, complain kept the medivacs alive this entire time so he can heal his entire army back up and get the reinforcements ready um, he's going for a couple more Hellbats, but mainly producing Marines and Marauders and going for that plus two up, uh, upgrade. So plus two weapons is incoming for Complain now. Um, I think the most dangerous units for him are the Infestors right now. Ooh, and of course Banelings, but he's doing a good job just splitting his Marines. Banelings are moving in from the left side. Can they get a couple good hits off? Uh, nope, they don't want to move into these splitted units already. Yeah, a lot of banelings just trade one for one or one for two in each engagement, which is just not enough. Complain almost never drops below 180 supply, while BSK has problems to keep it up uh, beyond 100. And now he's losing the gold base again. He tries to get up a fourth base in the uh, left northern part of the map, but uh, yeah, even if it does go up, he won't be Ooh, able another to fungal might be coming time. in, but no, he wants to keep that infester alive for one amazing fungal and tries to get get a good surround, but look at these pre-splits by Complain. Yeah. I mean, those banes are not gonna hit a chunk anyways. He is moving in again, and we have a couple of reinforcements. Ooh, nice baneling hit, uh, nice fun there on the left side, and getting a good baneling follow-up. I mean, BSK is making the most out of this, but I still think it's not yeah. gonna be enough. No, He's taking it. on the third. He doesn't even have any units left. And he now has to find force in some bailing somewhere on the ramp, but it's not enough for even only the marines that this army consists of, uh, let alone the Thors and Marauders that are still in this group. And yeah, the Medivacs are just healing against everything. Uh, oh, every look at these banelings! Still doesn't matter. 
Even yep. if he even if he hits the best baneling, even if he gets the best baneling hits he could ask for, it wouldn't even matter. Wow, complain. Really outplaying BSK in this game. I mean, yeah. um, just doing an amazing job. Uh, got ahead early on with the third command center that was yes. not spotted uh, yeah, that was by BSK. Yeah. I think that was the biggest problem. And for some reason, he was just so um, scared of whatever was whatever um, complaint was throwing at him that uh, he never really got started with his macro game. And if you if you put the Zerg in that position. It's just so hard to make a combat happen, and you could see it. I mean, if he had a couple more investors up, which he usually would by that point, if he had the um, if he had the, his third a lot earlier, yeah, um, that would have been a totally different ball game. And another big problem was that he was never able to get rid of any of the medevacs since he had only ground units for exactly. such a long time, exactly. and then only a few infestors. But he needed the energy for fungals and not for infested terrans, which even don't do that much damage anyways anymore. So yeah, he never had the possibility to clear that medevac count, and uh, thus just letting the terran get more and more healing power inside his army. Yeah. So true, so true. Those medivacs never got a single medivac down in, in the entirety of this cool. battle. Yeah, and the medivacs just kept stacking up. I mean, um, Complain was just dealing, a deal, a dialing back a little bit on the medivac production just to get, his, get more marines and marauders out, but still, he had like 12 medivacs in the end. And, well, with that, with that amount of medivacs, you can just keep your enti entire army alive. For uh, most of the game. All right, uh, we're about to get ready uh, for the next round, and the map is going to be Merry Go Round. We're the last one missing here. I'm yeah, going to take a quick bio break, and we'll be right back with the possibly last game for tonight in the Go for SC2 424. So in the meantime, the game has started. I don't know if you can hear me, but I will just try to radio cast this anyways, since uh, the good G-Shock is gone for just a second. Um, we're on merry-go-round, and uh, in the 2 o'clock position, I will spawn, um, or BSK spawned at the 2 o'clock position, while Complain spawned at the 6 o'clock position. He's building a barracks first, so he's obviously going for a Rex expand again. No gas yet. Alright, I am back and I'll switch the screen immediately <laughs> since you already started talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't All know right. if people could hear me, but I thought it would be better to radio cast at least uh, this part and tell him right. you as what is going on in the meantime. So we All have right. a hatch first for um, BSK in this case and um, a pool afterwards while. Complain now has his first barracks up and waits for enough money to build his command center, which he does now. And again, a pretty early drone start coming out of BSK. 
Uh, we'll see the barracks and everything finishing up, and no gas taken yet. Oh, so... this will be pretty annoying, maybe. No, okay, he doesn't go through it. He might have been able to just harass this SCV down there a little bit more, but his drone was very low on health. So he yeah, he wanted to keep to. the drone alive. Um, just to get that going in the uh, resource collection here again at the natural. And we actually see. might be seeing the same build again. He's placing down these supply depots in a way that he can wall off again with another supply uh, with another command center here. So hmm. Well, why change a running system? Um, it, it worked pretty well for him last game. He knows that BSK is not going to go for and there any it is. really <laughs> early aggression. <laughs> Oh, and even hiding it over there. Yeah. Uh, I like this positioning because he knows, okay, first overlord is going to go uh, towards the natural. Second overlord usually comes in towards the towards the main from the left side. Um, so that's actually a nice position uh, for that co command center uh, yeah, to not be spotted. Just, and it's the closest way air-wise uh, to the third uh, expansion. So I think that's actually the main reason why he puts it down there, because the uh, way to fly is the shortest. Okay, and cool. uh, we have lots of queens being produced by BSK. Getting two more queens ready. I mean, again, BSK has the possibility to get a, to get uh, a sense for what is happening because he sees the exact same picture at the front of the natural base. Yep, <laughs> Three indeed. marines standing around, doing nothing, no bunker yet, nothing. So actually, he could get an idea of what his opponent is up to. Yeah, I really hope that he learned something out of this last game. And he's even going for, um, well, I mean, he's not going for any 5th uh, or 6th queens, which you could be doing if you want to try to just play it super safe uh, when going for your 3rd. But he is grabbing uh, a little bit of an earlier double gas now, the 6 minute mark, um, and getting his watch one ready again. Roach War and Evil Chamber, this looks like exactly the same game out of both <laughs> of these players. Only on a different map, yeah. I think Complain delayed his barracks a little bit more and not going for that third barracks early yeah. as, as early as last game. Yeah, that's right. But still, getting started on Stim, we will see the swap here on the factory again, so going out with the, um, with the Hellions, just like last game. And again, he's not gonna find that third um, being started by BSK. Instead, again going for early layer tag, uh, getting the Roach Warren ready. He will get a couple of Roaches, um, just like last game. Maybe catch those Hellions off guard, but I don't think um, that Complain will actually lose all Hellions again, just like last game. He I, I really wonder if this if this Roach Hydro style is just BSK th thing, if it's just his trademark style or whatever, or if he's just super afraid of um, Widow Mines. And he doesn't really know or does have a lot of problems with playing uh, Ling Bane Muta against Widow Mines because he just goes away so far from the normal metagame. I mean, of course, we all know that Roach Hydra can work against the Terran, but only in actually a pretty small time window where you have to do a massive amount of damage uh, actually deciding this game before the 18 minute mark. Yeah. Because then Terran normally gets his 3 uh, 3 three upgrades and then Bio will just roll over you. And what do you think about um, having a roach, a roach Hydra plus a couple of Vipers or and or Swarm Hosts mixed in there? Because I oh, think that, that could work as well, but it's also a lot of... I mean, you kind of get rid of all the advantages you have with Roach Bio by it being sheep. If you throw um, the Vipers and uh, Swarm Hosts in there, and I think most of the time you die before, but... Yeah, that, that, that's the thing, you mostly die before. I mean, there's this there's this style that Snoot normally plays, where he goes to uh, where he goes to Roach, uh, and Roach Bane mostly, before and he tries to crush into the his opponent's natural base, which oftentimes succeed, and he does a lot of damage. And afterwards, he goes into a muta transition to do some harassment left and right, and to shoot down Medirex and drops and everything. And behind that, he tacks to... Uh, swarm host and then goes up to hive, taking a third and fourth base, uh, taking a fourth base. Then uh, at that point and maybe a fifth one, and then with the help of swarm host, he defends his bases that are more forward. And in the meantime, with his um, uh, and with the with the banelings, he detect uh, he he protects these swarm hosts from any counter aggression. And with uh, his mutas, he normally tries to dish out the damage in his opponent's space. Well, that's quite an interesting strategy, but only Snoot does it. And uh, so far, he seems to be the only one to pull it off against Terrence. And he lastly did against Flash. 
And uh, this is a pretty big pushing coming for BSK. That's a lot of roaches that are moving in. Uh, bam, Yordi bam. has plus one, plus one done, or almost done. First two Widow Mines to get some good hits off. Uh, Complain doesn't have any tanks in production right now. He's just going for pure bio. Oh, BSK ne needs to make a move right now. I mean, he doesn't want to get uh, not another additional uh, Widow Mine hits in. And kills the bunker right away. And doing a lot of damage on these bio units. I think this might be enough units for him here. But the SCVs are being pulled. And if they close in, they do a lot of damage against these roaches. Uh, but he needs he needs some forces behind this. There are the Marines coming in. And Widow Mine's getting a couple shots off. Uh, he needs to close off the... Needs to close off the ramp. He's not doing it. I think BSK can take this game. But the barracks are almost finishing up, and no reinforcements coming in yet. There they are. Yeah, BSK just doing a lot of damage. He smells victory in the water. He just pulls. Oh yeah, and there it is. <laughs> I don't even have to commentate this anymore. Yeah, uh, one one. Produced, uh, he just produced more roaches behind that. Didn't even want to drone anymore. He uh, really saw his opportunity to finish the game right there and then, and did it. BSK making the comeback happen, and of course, um, with while we were talking about the possibility of, of Roach Hydras and um, like having that um, Ro Roach Hydra play in, in position, uh, he just makes it happen with a perfect timing, with the 1-1 timing, and I'm kind of concerned why... Um, uh, why our player by uh, Cascade didn't spot this? Why Contain didn't see it coming? Because he saw a lot of roaches. Yeah, he that's saw, right. He saw more roaches being produced, so you usually would go for that siege tank instantly, because otherwise yeah, well, you just just lose. just just pull some just pull some workers to or pull um, some workers to um, just keep the um, keep it alive, of course. Uh, Judo. Yep. Can you join after me? Okay. Sorry, I just watched. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. pulling workers, um, but I think it with was the positioning he, he did, had... Yeah, he did, he did nothing. He even sent away one medivac to kill the Overlord uh, over at the side, where it blocked the third ramp with... Uh, where it blocked the third base with creep. And uh, yeah, then he didn't even... His, his opponent didn't even need Banelings to crush the wall. He just went through with his roaches. And obviously his opponent underestimated uh, the danger that was coming at him. So. All right, let's get started here with the third and final game. Complain, he spawned in the nine o'clock position. He's playing for Dream Triple A out of France. It is BSK, and he made the comeback happen. Can he close it off and finish the series? Win this, go for SC2 number 424, or will it be his opponent? To the five o'clock position in green from Cascade, one bad, it's Complain. Complain. Ah, can't complain about that first game. Yeah, but about the second one. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, getting we we talked about this. Getting the siege tank out, either either siege tank or um, just focusing on Marauder production. But I think he didn't have the tech labs ready for that. So um, just uh, swapping the tech lab on um, on the barracks for the factory, going for a single siege tank that would have saved him. Or I mean at least getting the SCVs up up to the front and trying to uh, keep his wall alive helps out quite a bit as well. So both players are going in for the same thing so far. There's the early drone scout, there's the back of the barracks first, no gas, so maybe Complain is trying to do it again. This actually looks like two letter players just doing their letter strategies <laughs> and not changing anything from that. So, quite interesting. There's, uh, oh, this time we have, uh, yeah, an, again, uh, standard against Terran, we have a hatch first, before the pool. He did go for 14 hatch this time, though. Mm -hmm. um, barely 15 hatch, but, um, so a little bit of an earlier hatch. Uh, a little bit more greedy out of him. But that doesn't have to mean anything right now. So Barracks finishes up, there's the drone coming in, now he knows what his opponent is up to. He's going to scout that there's no gas, he's going to scout one Rax, so he really needs to know what his opponent is going to do. And there's the Barracks, even on the low ground. Yeah, but yep. so, um, so far no reason not to do it. <laughs> I would have actually liked Complain going for some sort of proxy Rax in here, but the problem is it's a three player map. So you can't really know where your opponent is. You could only build uh, the barracks right in front of that giant octopus in the middle of the map. 
and uh, then stream your units over. And I think I would have liked that a little bit, but of course it's risky, and, and he doesn't want to risk the whole tournament. Yeah, good but. thing BSK didn't scout it out, but usually you would see players going for that scout uh, in these positions that are quite prone to uh, have proxy barracks. Uh, he didn't scout out, scout him out this tank, this game, but maybe he knows that Complain doesn't usually go for these kind of uh, cheesy strategies. And there's the third CC again. Okay, so same <laughs> opening out of Complain. This and is getting so boring. Far, same <laughs> opening out of BSK as well. Let me so not really adjusting to each other's playstyle. I mean, Complain doesn't really need to. I mean, he he only needs to later on. So possibly go for just a single siege tank or at least. Um, focus on the composition that BSK is going for. Hmm. I really want to ride these players to change game plans a little bit. <laughs> oh, we should be seeing a change now. Two gases are incoming for Complain, I think, uh, earlier on than last games. Yeah. And he didn't go for the tech lap on the first barracks right away. So we're going to see a little bit of a change. Second barracks is coming in as well. Uh, let's see what he makes out of this. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit of a um, bio push coming in. Yeah, but his opponent still on two bases. He's doing the exact same thing as before, trying to saturate his two bases before anything else. I mean, of course, it's easier to defend against Talions and everything, but I mean, does he see the same thing again? Now he sees the bunker going down, but again, up until the five minute mark, no bunker had been thrown. So, hmm. Yeah, I mean, he could have gotten either for a pretty early push, which is possible with the with the build that he's um, that he's going for here. Yeah. But I don't know this really defensive play that I mean is good if you actually face an offensive opponent and um, early rush strategy. But in the way that Complain is playing it out, it doesn't really make all that much sense to go for this. You really yeah. want to get that third up way earlier. And after having seen your opponent going for uh, third command center very early, again and again for two games, um, you might want to adapt a little, <laughs> or maybe even check for it. I mean, there's this overlord standing at the backside of uh, his opponent's main. He could just fly it in, try to scout anything, just see something. I mean, right now it's just hanging around, for spotting for drops, but which aren't coming. <laughs> Any yeah, there's actually no. Um... No starport incoming as of yet. Uh, we do have the first Hellions moving out now. So uh, those will try to poke in, maybe stop the creep spread again. And a check if the third is already up. He did send out a single SCV just to uh, scout out the natural, but didn't see anything there. I mean, he saw the double Evo chamber and the Roach Worn, just like the previous games. But um, the most important thing, again, is the third base, and he doesn't scout it, just like last game. And we have plus one in, uh, in production as well as the plus one armor and the Burrow upgrade coming in as well. First virtues are being produced and layer tech is incoming. So it's the same build out of BSK. Let's the... see if uh, Complain actually uses a scan this time just to check his uh, opponent's army composition. Well, I mean, he doesn't actually need to. He he got his Hellions up the ramp. The Roach Warren was right there. <laughs> and he sees Roach is incoming, so yeah. um, that's a pretty big giveaway right there. Uh, bunker is ready. He has a single SCV up front. Um, it's only one bunker. Why doesn't he do another one? That that's really so. That really surprises me. I mean, okay, now he has two Widow Mines early on, which but they didn't help him before. I mean, this this choke is a bit narrower, a bit more narrow, so it's not as easy to get through these widow mines unharmed. As yeah, and he has a nice concave on top as well. Uh, uh, he should close that uh, depot though, and again going for the uh, third. There's of course. another bunker going down. Uh, the timing on the second bunker is most crucial here. More roaches are being produced. I think BSK is going to wait again until he gets more and more roaches up. By the way, the Hellions did poke in. Did see the timing on the third. Uh, single Hellion being taken out. Second one might fall. Yeah, it will. Not getting into the main. Uh, that would have been a nice point, but he did see the layer in the natural. So I think he knows the most important part about this. And um, yeah. We have yeah, a this, lot of roaches coming in, little, second bunker is finished, and, yeah, and the medivac push, ready as well. Yeah, this push won't do uh, nowhere near as much as it did for him last game. Fool yep. me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Mm -hmm. So, And some nice hits again. Um, I do like that he, dis, uh, that he puts the turret in position there. Because that way he can 
Well, there's not going to be any uh, roach burrowing micro coming in. Ooh, that's a little bit risky. Going out of this way with, with this medivac. Yeah, he but just he wants, he wants to clear, he wants to clear yep. the creep again on his third. But that cost him last game, and now again, he doesn't have anything to repair this first bunker, but he has a second one behind it, and his units are now moving out. Uh, they have Stim available. Um, oh, he loads in, tries to go back. He knows that the Concave of the Roaches will cause him a lot of losses. Pulling back to this case, there's the bunker again. The units getting stimmed, Ooh. shooting at the Roaches. Oh, he actually lost his uh, Marauder in that previous engagement, but he still has two up. But he, he should be careful with moving out. Does, I mean, does be he shouldn't state. overextend with this. There's more and more roaches incoming. And we have an army coming behind this. Ooh, the bunker even salvaged. Now he's pulling SCVs. I don't know if I like this at all. Um, BSK still doing a pretty good job so far dealing with this. And it, it just looks like he ignores everything BSK does and just pulls through with his normal plan. I don't care if you have roaches there. I just stream my workers over to my third base. Fuck you. <laughs> just, what kind of behavior is that? And now he loses a lot of units again. Nice micro with the uh, with the um, uh, Marauder there, loading it into the Medivac, saving it, and then just loading it out again. And he really fended off this push of BSK, who's still trying to do some memorable, uh, memorable, um, um, or some significant damage here at all, which he still didn't really manage to do. And uh, only only training units so far. Ooh, ah. it's only Marines now though, so BSK is still doing uh, some pretty good damage and de um, just exchanging really well here. Uh, nice barrel micro. Marines. Uh, nice barrel micro there. This this really seems to be his specialty, working with roaches and barrel yeah, just micro. going all out on the roaches, but I would love to see some a little bit of uh, some Zerglings in there, because those help out really, really well. Uh, yeah, but just keeping the Marines in position and trying to get the surround. Because yeah, right now he's caught be. in between both of these forces. Yeah, but still, he's, he's, he's still there at the point where he wanted to be. The, um, workers have been pulled, he's killing off more and more workers. He's now on the main base on his opponent, his opponent is now scanning, but still the roaches heal up very fast because they got the upgrade for fast healing. I think, oh no, fast healing they didn't get it because you need to hide for that and he doesn't have that. Um, but still, uh, he does a lot of damage uh, worker-wise and he does a lot of damage um, to his army. Now even moving up to that third, killing even more workers, and that is just what he wants to do. Yeah, he actually took out 21 workers in these engagements, and will get out with the rest of these roaches. So, he could go for a follow-up, but so far he's still just producing roaches. Out of three bases, that is, but still just producing roaches. Doesn't look like he has a real follow-up to this. Oh, and the roaches are closing in, trying to focus out the marauders, but I think this time around Complain has enough marauders, and he still has a lot of, a lot of medivacs alive, but I don't know, he doesn't... Nope, not nope. enough reinforcements, these roaches still doing damage, and getting this uh, third CC to retreat. Look how ridiculously fast these roaches heal once they're buried. Yeah, just moving in again, dishing out as much damage as he can, just trying to focus out the marauders, very nice micro there. Yeah, but and good job uh, stalling by complain. And the mule um, hammer coming in. <laughs> oh, this Have is a look at the income hard. tab. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not yeah. bad. That's a nice way to make a return here, uh, out of 50 workers. But right now, I don't think uh, that BSK has a chance to uh, retake this game, but... I don't know. Maybe he can make something happen, but with so many medivacs still in the air, um, Complain can just heal his army back up. Yes, and he's even producing more medivacs, switching more to more order production. Uh, and just now BSK is getting started with his Spaling Nest, yeah. uh, which is going to be way too late. I think we could be seeing a Doom Drop out of Complain, but uh, right now he's still being pressured, so he might still stay back. And he has no idea what BSK is actually working on. Because yeah, um, he hasn't scanned in ages. Yeah, but, but BSK is now facing the same situation as in game one. He doesn't have any possibility to shoot down the medivac. So the yep. medivac count will grow and grow and grow, the same as his bio count. So if he doesn't really manage to kill units right out, these units will just heal up instantly almost. Yeah, and there's okay. the Doom Drop. A couple of make their way into the natural. Um, we'll do a little bit of damage. Nope, there comes the scan. And he will get most of these roaches, yeah, we'll deal with most of these roaches. A couple still moving to the left side and get a couple of um, SCV kills. 
and the Doomdrop at the same time Ooh. in the main base of his opponent, and now he's moving in. Yeah, but the Vultures are also making their way towards the natural, um, but it does look like he has enough, yeah, he has enough Medivax and Marines in position to defend this. Yeah, even Terran the Barker in position, which he's not using for some weird reason. Yeah, but, but even if he managed to do more damage there, Terran can lift buildings and Vultures can't shoot up. Why uh, his army can really kill every building that his opponent has, and, and there is GG. GG. <laughs> and complain takes it. Complain does take it 2-0. Um, I gotta say I'm not too keen on BSK's play, uh, with just staying on Roaches for such a long time. He, I mean, he was in a good spot. He could have just transitioned out of it. Um, he could have gone for the Hydras again, or even completely forget about the Hydras and play, um, go towards um, Ling and Fester. I mean, he was only on plus one with the Roach uh, Missile Attack upgrade, so that's still a good position to be in. And um, he evened out the whole work account and everything, but I don't know, the whole idea of how he plays it out, just going for the late third, it doesn't really seem to fit the whole Zerg style. Yeah, and the, biggest, much. and the biggest problem, I mean, he had his third base, but it was never really well saturated, so it didn't really give him that much income, and he wasted a lot of gas and resources into these roaches, which worked out well for quite some time, but then he wasn't really able to push through and didn't really recognize the timing where to stop and try to transition into something else. Yeah, and he missed that spot at some point, tried to use more roaches and more roaches, but the bio army of his opponent grew and grew, together with uh, the more important thing, the medivac count. And uh, like I said, he didn't have any chance. If he didn't kill the units right out, they just got healed up in seconds uh, and were able to fight at full strength uh, in the next engagement while he lost some of his roaches, had to reproduce them, throw them in again, and not uh, really decimating his opponent's army. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, the medivacs uh, do make the most important part of this, uh, uh, why this comp composition just doesn't work. Alright fellas, that's it for tonight's Go4SC2. Um, 